hello loves welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is tyla and today i'm going to be doing my hair care wash day routine so i just had some braids in that i took out and it's time for me to wash my hair so i'm using the osan naturals shampoo as well as this deep moisture mask and i just started using these products so i have to really get a feel for them but so far they've been working pretty good for my hair i've been trying to find out what products work the best for me because i recently just transitioned into going fully natural which i am so happy that i finally made the decision because i just could not commit in the past i had a perm basically all of my life and i did not know how to take care of my natural hair for a long time i would get frustrated when it came to doing Doing my natural hair and i really had to heal the relationship that i had with my hair because you know as a black woman and having 4c natural hair it is a struggle being able to find the right products and to be able to just care for your hair and i would get so frustrated in the past and it was always just easier to throw a perm in my hair you know but as i got older and i really started to heal certain aspects of myself i started to realize that that is just not the route I wanted to take. I wanted to love and embrace my natural hair. So I am so happy that I got to this point. So now I'm using the Osan Naturals Natural Moisture Mist. This is good for nourishing your hair and it has five different oils. And I'm also using the Soy Organics Anti-Breakage Moisturizer. I'm trying to start not using as much heat on my hair as well because usually when I do my wash days, I blow dry my hair, but that's because I'm usually styling after and putting a protective style in such as braids or twists. And I usually don't have enough time to let it air dry, but today I'm gonna be using this Curl Wave Twist Jelly and I'm gonna be doing a twist out so that I can also let it air dry that way. And I honestly love doing these twist outs because it's a great way to not only get my hair to dry faster, but it also helps me to detangle my hair. It's so funny because I literally used to dread my wash days when it came to washing my natural hair. And now I look forward to them, honestly. A big part of that I noticed too along this journey is that it was really because I was not using the right products before and I was barely using any products. My hair was always really dry, so it was hard to manage. And now it's not as bad when it comes to managing my hair. I look forward to these days because it really is a nice self-care practice and kind of self-care routine. A lot of the time when I do my hair wash days, I also do my full-on self-care routine. So exfoliating my body, moisturizing, doing my skincare. I make it a whole day just full of self-care and I really love supporting to myself this way and it makes you feel really amazing. And I do have some videos on my channel of me doing my full-on self-care routines. If you guys are interested and want to check those out. So for me, in between wearing my natural hair out, I usually wear a protective style. And I personally love wearing protective styles because that way I don't have to keep putting products into my natural hair to maintain it. And I also like that it helps my hair to grow because I'm not really touching it as much. So I ordered some twists here and I'm going to be doing some twists. I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see the style that I'm going to be going for. It's going to be really cute. I'm excited and I can't wait to do my hair this weekend. I'm going to be filming a full on self care routine so you guys can stay tuned if you want to see that. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some twists. I usually like to do twists. I do braids. Once I went natural, I also started learning how to do my own hair. So like braid styles, twists, all those things. And it was a little tricky at first. But ladies, I highly recommend it if you do not do your own hair. So now that I'm finished with the twist, I'm going to go and cut all the dead ends off. And I used to skip this, but it's a really important step. So make sure that you're also cutting off all your dead ends.
So this was the next day, well, the next morning. And I usually do my twist outs overnight. I feel like that's the best way to do it. So I'm just untwisting my hair and then I'm gonna put it into a style. Now I ended up just doing two puffs because I didn't have enough time to really style my hair the way that I wanted. So yeah. As I do my twist outs, I usually put a little bit of product in it as I untwist them. Alright love, so that's it for this video. Don't mind my puffs, they're a little bit crooked right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's the end of the day and I decided to just style my hair in two puffs today because I wanted to do the crisscross pattern with the rest out, but since I already did that style and I did not have enough time to really style it the way that I wanted to, I went ahead and just did these puffs. So that's about it for my full natural hair care routine. I really been loving embracing my natural hair and caring for it and finding the right products that are really good for my hair. I have type 4C hair. So if you have any product recommendations that will help for locking in moisture, definitely let me know. I currently do like the products that I'm using right now. And I also have another product that I showed in my other video, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. So this right here. This is a hair mask and it's infused with honey. I really like this because it makes my hair really soft and that's really what I need, especially with having 4C textured hair. And I use this every now and then. I don't use it every time that I do my hair care routine. So like for example, I didn't use it today, but I used the other product instead. And that product works really well too. But what I also do like to do that I couldn't do today as well was when I'm doing my conditioner, I like to use a plastic shower cap and put that on my hair while my conditioner sits in my hair and then sometimes I'll put a little heat on it so it can just really soak in that moisture and get really nice and soft. But I did not have time to do all of that as well. So that's another thing that I like to do. I threw away my regular blow dryer because I'm trying to get in the habit of letting my hair air dry so I'm not constantly putting heat on it because I don't want to damage the pattern of my actual hair. So that's why I decided to just do the twist out although I didn't wear my hair out and style it. But it is honestly a lot easier than blow drying my hair and yeah it still comes out super cute and it usually lasts for a couple days when i do that but that's about it i'm gonna be doing a hairstyle this weekend too as well i'm gonna be doing some twists so if you're interested stay tuned because i am gonna be filming that as a like maintenance slash self-care type of video for this sunday so i do have a playlist where you guys can see my hair videos as well as my self-care videos so if you're interested in that check it out i'll leave all the links below and i also do have a video where i show myself chopping off all of my permed ends the rest of my permed hair because i was transitioning for a minute i decided that i didn't want to completely chop off all of my hair so i just chopped off all the permed ends because it was literally half and half most of my hair was just dead permed hair <laughs> So I chopped all of that off and honestly my hair has been growing pretty fast, especially with me wearing protective styles in between, which is why I like to style my hair. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that style this weekend. It's going to be super cute. I'm excited. I already got everything for it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Come my people then go say I don't want to fight I don't want to die